Hey, Connor here up in Montserrat, the monastery down there, about a thousand meters over the Catalan countryside. And this week I want to talk about the dangers of lazy thinking or fantastical thinking. And so often I hear people make black and white statements like, I hate my job. And they throw the baby out with the bathwater. They throw away the job looking for the next thing. And I think you, you don't find the perfect job. You take where you're at and you increase by 1% the things you like, the people you like, the projects you like. You reduce by 1% day after day, week after week, the things that don't fulfill you so from so much. And it's, it's this act, a, action of adapting your life, adapting to the insert situation that creates a place, a meaningful role that can really make a difference. And I think too often I see people have these fantasy, fantasy ideas of what would make their life wonderful. I remember years ago, I was at a conference in Las Vegas and Steve Wynn, the, the casino owner, talked about how he's helped his kids that when they were young, whatever job they believed that they would really be happy in, he found a way of helping them spend a week or two working in that. So whether it was they wanted to be a doctor or they wanted to be a film producer, he, with his contacts, was able to create the opportunity where they'd get to spend a week or a month and experience what it would be really like to do this job. And I think he, he shared the story of one of his kids that wanted to be a movie producer and having spent a week on a set, decided that was definitely not something that he enjoyed. So this idea is, is be careful of black and white thinking, of lazy thinking. And in order to move away from lazy thinking, I mean, writing stuff down or conversations with others, because in our own mind, we jump to conclusions so quickly. We, we use this black and white, it's either this or that. We don't see all the greys in between. And in Vistage, what we work with senior leaders to, to help them take better decisions. And a big part of what we do is just help them step by step structure their thinking to move away from fantastical thinking or black and white, only two options, to really look at you know hundreds of options and small ways that you can change the situation you're in to be slightly better without throwing everything away. But I guess, you know, when you hear yourself saying something like, I hate my job, or I really don't like this, or it, it's a case of start to get a book out, write down, what are all the things you do like? And, and another element, I think, is, is what are the constraints that you choose? And, you know, when you're young, you probably don't have that many constraints. But as you get older, I think you need to start to choose constraints that you're going to hold yourself to. Now, where do you want to work? What hours do you want to work? What type of pressure do you want to feel? And by choosing constraints, you almost make your decision making easy. If you've got no constraints, there's no limits and, and everything is possible. It's only when you start to put constraints in and, and willingly choose constraints. And in my own life, I think the constraint of living in Barcelona forced me to think about what type of careers I could create that would be meaningful and in Barcelona for the long run. And I don't think I would have been an entrepreneur if I'd stayed living and working in London. It, it was forced by the constraint of how do I build a life that keeps me in Barcelona over the long period and is meaningful. And then I think with my daughter, when, when she was young, I decided I wanted to be able to drop her to school and pick her up from school. And I had to say no to a lot of teaching opportunities, of uh, client speech opportunities to do that. And there was many times I felt that I was sacrificing career. But actually looking back, it realized it made me really focus on what I wanted to do and help clients understand what I could really do well and when I could do it. And I think sometimes me saying no to things actually gave the other a sense that I was more valuable than I really was. So I think, you know, Lazy thinking is very dangerous. Thinking that you like something without spending a week in the reality of it. Most jobs have some good bits and some bad bits. And you make it wonderful by, by getting in there and then slowly adapting it 1% a day, 1% a month, a little bit more of what you like, a little bit more time with the people that you like, a little less time with the people you don't like, a little less time doing the activities that you don't find so meaningful, building a team around you of people that do enjoy some of the things that you don't get so much reward from. And, uh, you know, certainly my role now has been 
probably at least a 10 year journey of getting clear about what I do well, what I enjoy doing, what I wish to do more of, what's important to me, and, and steadily creating more and more of that and less and less of the stuff that doesn't feel so meaningful and rewarding. And then being really clear on the constraints that I have for my own life. And uh, there was a question by, from uh, Thomas on email last week about how to how to distinguish and, and, and keep a balance between long-term infinite game thinking and short-term living in the now. And my reflection is writing stuff down and conversation. Our thinking is so lazy that if you don't structure your thinking on a page in your journal or structure your thinking with a coach, it's very hard to keep your mind focused on, on addressing questions. So to me, the way I do it is in my journal. And often you're writing down you know, what's important 30 years from now and what am I enjoying today? What's, what's today about? Are, are questions I write down in my journal and, and putting the structure on a page, the thinking that feels clear in our head, when you try and put it on a page, you realize it's not that clear. You've got work to do. So lazy thinking can really mess up your life. Statements like, I hate my job. Uh, and jumping to someone else with the fantasy idea that it's going to fix everything is very dangerous. I think uh, this idea of you know, go and test what you're going to spend the next 10, of your, 10 years of your life building towards to make sure it really is what you imagine it will be. Because lazy thinking can mess up your life in a big way. So anyway, Connor here from uh, hiking above Montserrat Mountain. Beautiful spot, about 30 minutes behind Barcelona. Hope uh, you're well. Hope you're having a good week. Thank you for your likes, your questions, your emails. Thanks, Thomas, for that question by email. Have a good one. See you soon.